Howdy, 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 everyone. Tad Stevens on the Micro Success Secrets podcast, where we focus on business, psychology, and marketing and how all that stuff works together. Today, I'm talking with Mary Schaefer, who is the founder of AP Now, a B2B digital media company supplying business intelligence related to the accounts payable and payment functions of organizations of all sizes. She has been awarded one of the coveted top 50 accounts payable influences by the leading association in this area. And before starting AP Now, she held several positions in finance and treasury departments at Equitable Life, Olympia New York, and Continental Grain. She has also written 20 business books. Mary, how are you doing? And uh, is there anything that I missed in that intro? No. Um, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, it's always great uh, to see you and to have an opportunity to chat with you. And um, no, I think you, you kind of covered it all. I think the one thing that I would emphasize is that aside from our books, which are available on Amazon for the most part, we are completely digital. We didn't start out that way, but right now, but now we're completely digital, no physical product other than the book. Got that. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, today's interview is going to be about some of the things that brought you to where you are today, um, how you did that, and hopefully how that applies uh, to the listeners and something that they can take away with. So if you're ready to go, we'll get going. Yes. Yep. All right. Super. So what's one business or life decision that if you could change it, you would do so? So it was just one. Okay, so if there's one thing that, that, that I did when I started, and by the way, I talked with a colleague of mine who made the same mistakes, and we, we kind of laugh about this, is that when I picked my website URL, I absolutely mm -hmm. would not have picked one that has a dash in it. Or <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's important. It's important. Yeah, it, People don't it always is. think about that. No, but it's the website is AP dash now. And then, you know, people will say dash or a hyphen. And is it the <laughs> other? I mean, you get into these conversations and like you're, you're off on the wrong topic, not what you want them to be thinking about. And anyway, as I said, I happened to mention to this to my colleague in England. He started laughing hysterically because he made the same mistake. So if I was starting it again, I would not use, don't use a dash or any other fancy symbol, number one. And number two, include the keyword in your URL. It sounds yes. basic, but, you know, our keyword is accounts payable. And I thought, but, you oh, know, you know, like, I know, I know. I mean, I think about it because I talk about that all the time. And yeah. Back when we chose those, we probably didn't know everything we know now. I know this stuff about the keywords, but in the back of my mind, I thought, who's going to want to write my email address? Mary Schaefer <laughs> at accounts payable. <laughs> I get it. Uh, that, that is great advice. I mean, that is I mean, basic. And I mean, I talk to uh, coaches, CPAs, mm -hmm. uh, business people all the time, and almost nobody gets that. I mean, literally, yeah. so that is super, super advice. I get it now. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. So if you could go back also yes. um, in your career, your life, and mm -hmm. you could think of one decision that worked out really, really well. And you know, it's one of those things where you look at it, you look at your life in, in, in a way that, you yeah. know, everything that came before it and everything that came after it. Do you have something like that? I have actually kind of two to three things that I want to share. Um, and they're not rocket scientists by the stuff anyway. The first one is listen. Listen to your customers. Um, when they tell you something, um, don't just say, yeah, 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 yeah. Listen to what they're saying. And I have to tell you, I've had some of my biggest successes from that. Um, the best example is about 12 years ago, we were a completely print newsletter that we mailed through the mail. And what a nightmare and problems that was. But one of my customers came to me and she said, why don't you have a digital version? And I thought, well, this is a no-brainer. I don't really think anybody wants one, but we were already... <laughs> Well, shows what I know. We were already converting <laughs> it to a PDF to send to the printer. So I thought, well, we'll, we'll you know, we'll put it out there. She's a loyal mm -hmm. customer, even if she's the only one who takes it. It's, it's no big deal. And initially, it was a no big deal with our audience. Only about 5% converted. Um, but over time, um, about three or four years later, I noticed most of our new subscribers were coming in as digital. And so then we, we made the, the big push. So mm -hmm. that brings me to my second point is to constantly reevaluate. Don't be stuck in, oh, this is the way we always did it. And that's how we got first from a paper newsletter to a digital newsletter um, to now I have to tell you we're at a 
we went from 16 pages to four pages with more of an emphasis on uh, webinars because that's what the audience wants. Mm -hmm. And lastly, I would say take a broader view of what success is. When I was first starting, I was talking to my accountant and I said, well, we were starting in May and I said to her, if we don't have X number of um, subscribers by December 31st, this, uh, I'll consider this a failure and I'll have to look for something else. And she said, stop, 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 stop. Don't get so <laughs> up on this one <laughs> number. And, and she was right. She was right. We didn't have that number, but we had webinars um, and we had some books. So, you know, mm -hmm. just take a yeah. broader view. But it, I mean, I, it, I mean, I totally agree with that. I also like to have a number because it, it just for me personally, it gives me something to shoot for. But no, don't get hung up on it. It's just a number. I have to tell you, and I usually do set numbers. I'm just like you. And inevitably, the number that I set is higher than we reach. You know, and that's and we, okay. Yeah, that's okay. Exactly. 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 But okay. listen, so, that's, that's my main one. Listen. Listen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is super important, especially to your customers, because, I mean, quite frankly, if it wasn't for them, you wouldn't be here. Right. Exactly. Um, so being somebody that deals with a lot of content, mm -hmm. and I run into this. This is one of my big ones, which is why I like it here, because I also see other people doing it or not doing it, but I get writer's block, something horrible. Um and I also will find myself just during the day getting stuck on what to do next or, you know, what, 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 what task is, has priority, this and that. Do you have any tips, techniques, checklists, anything that you use to keep so, moving, to get unstuck when you so get this, stuck on something? This is what I do. Um, I, I have a pretty good my, idea in my head, and I'm sure most people listening to this, of what really should be done next. But sometimes the thing that needs to be done next is just something that you're not interested in doing. Or you, for whatever reason, you can't do it. Mm -hmm. And you look no. on the internet, and you talk to people. You're doing everything under the sun. but this Something. One yeah. yeah. And then everything behind it isn't getting done. So when that happens, what I do is instead of beating myself up for it, usually there's something that I really want to do. It might be an article that I'm just going to um, uh, outline out or whatever. I don't beat myself up that I'm not doing whatever it is that I'm supposed to be doing. And I just do something that I want to do. I'm still getting mm -hmm. the work done. I'm not getting the bad task done. <laughs> <laughs> eventually the deadline you get comes done. you're, but I get, you're I get something i'm productive yeah. right right so uh, anyway that's what works for me super okay yes. last question if you had to start from scratch yes. uh, what would you do so i would do two things number one i would have started earlier um, I don't know about uh, probably a lot of people who might be listening to this thinking about starting. I had a corporate job, which to be honest, paid pretty well. Um, and I would, uh, I stuck to it too long because I, I mm -hmm. like that, that paycheck. So I would have started sooner, um, but I didn't. And the other thing is, and I am bet you you're going to agree with this. Um, I can't underestimate the importance of marketing, marketing on a regular basis. Um, it's almost like you can't do too much marketing. And by saying marketing, I don't mean spamming people with email over and over again, but it's mm -hmm. important to, at least in, in my market, you know, continually bring new customers in because what we call them members, you know, people retire, people mm -hmm. get other jobs, maybe they get tired of you, if you could absolutely believe that. Um, and so you have to keep, <laughs> I can't understand why someone would get tired of hearing about accounts payable, but whatever. Um, and so you need to continually bring new, new customers in. And that's, to, me, to be honest, I think that's the hardest part, not only of this business, but of most businesses. You know, I'll have people say to me, you know, um, you know how could I do what you do? And I, you know, I tell them, hey, you know the information, but you have to focus on bringing the customers in. Mm -hmm. And that, to me anyway, I don't know if you, you agree, that's the hard part. Actually, I agree on both those. I think both those are super. I wish I'd started earlier, but, um, and even after I did start, I did not realize the importance of marketing. Yeah. And you know, you hear the old catchphrase that marketing is the lifeblood of your business and it's it corny and it's old and people <laughs> beat it. You know, it's overused, but it's true. Yeah. You know, it is absolutely true. If you don't market it, what I tell people, is, you know, if you don't market it, you don't have people coming into your business, then what you're doing is a hobby. 
because you're not making any money at it. So you might as well just have fun at it. So right. don't worry about it. But that, but yes, super, super important. And you okay. know what? The worst mm. thing can, that can happen to somebody is they have a marketing campaign, they whatever they do, and they have some success. And then they think, well, I have enough customers now. And I stop. Yes. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <Yes>. you do. <laughs> For today. <laughs> yeah, you get it. You get a certain. You get to a certain point or a certain level, and you think, "Oh, this is good. I can relax." No, no can't. you can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I ever heard that, but right, right. There is no such thing as relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that's super, 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 super. Really appreciate that. Uh, that's all the questions I have. Really appreciate you taking your time going through all that and sharing that experience. Um, is there anything that um, while we're wrapping up that you want to let people know about how they get in contact you, uh, how you might be able to help them? So um, I'm on, I'm on LinkedIn, um, Mary Schaefer or, you know, um, accounts payable. I'm on Twitter at, at accounts payable. Uh, my books are mm -hmm. on Amazon. Um, if you want to email me directly, it's publisher at AP dash now.com that awful dash and uh <laughs> i'm always <laughs> still there right it's still there um it didn't go away and um i'm always happy to talk to people to link with people um just if you link just tell me where you heard about it sometimes i get um i'm sure you do too ted invitations to link and i'm like well who are you and and mm -hmm. if you have accounts payable or no, accounting that is, uh, that is in your in your thing i automatically link but sometimes i'm like i, I don't know from a marketing perspective uh, i mean that is super important because also it uh it starts the conversation right in in a real low level psychological way it helps get the conversation started right. so absolutely yeah right Oh, and also we have a podcast. I, 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 don't, I don't know if I told, well, this is a podcast. So we are the AP Now podcast and we're probably every place that you're going to be. Um, okay. Tad, are you, on, are you on YouTube? I'm getting there. By the, time, uh, by the time someone hears this, we will be there. Okay, good, good. So that's great. So after you listen to Tad, you can listen to me or after you listen to me, you can listen to Tad. Oh yeah, that sounds great. Okay. All righty. Thank you for inviting me, Ted. This has been pretty interesting. You're very, very welcome. Thanks, Mary. Really appreciate it. And thanks to everybody who's listening in. Have a safe and productive week, week excuse me, and be <laughs> the very best you can be at whatever you want to be. Until next time, this is Tad Stevens with the Micro Success Secrets podcast. Bye now. Bye.